All right, there's our scene on Proteus Mirabilis, the bacteria, and it's represented by this guy over here on top of the police's mirror, the police's side view mirror, the police's mirror for Proteus Mirabilis. I know it's a little bit of a stretch. Proteus Mirabilis for police's mirror. And so he's going to be over here, and there's the policeman over there. He's all upset about that. And anyways, we take a look at this bacteria, just the characteristics of the bacterium itself. We see that it is gram-negative, right? That reddish color is a gram-negative. And we note that it has lots of flagella. Proteus Mirabilis has lots of flagella, which gives it lots of motility. Now we note on the floor over here, we see this urine uh, bucket over here. The urine bucket oh, reminds us of urease positive, right? The urease positive. Uh, Proteus mirabilis is urease positive, which means that it produces urease, which hydrolyzes urea in the, bo urea in the body to ammonia. And But this urine bucket actually has a urinary tract infection because Proteus mirabilis often causes urinary tract infections. We note over here, this guy over here, so this homeless guy over here, Oh, by the way, these just in terms of the, what's going on in the scene, I think these two guys are very jealous of Proteus Mirabilis, that he's very motile. Like, these guys are just, like, sitting on the floor over here, and he's very motile, and that's why they're jealous. Okay, so that's in terms of the scene. This guy over here, we take a look. He's kind of random. We take a look really closely. You see a real histological picture of the crystals which Proteus Mirabilis can cause. Proteus Mirabilis can alkalize the urine, leading to formation of struvite crystals, and this can cause renal obstruction. And that brings us to the next point over here. We see these stacked kidneys over here. I guess that was his, it's the only thing he owns. Even though he's homeless, it's the only thing he's, he owns are these stacked kidneys to help us remember the staghorn kidney stones. The staghorn kidney stones, which is a complication of Proteus Mirabilis. And finally, we note over here this policeman over here. If you take a look closely, he has, this is a real histologic picture over here on his face. His face has, you notice these like rings over here. This to help us remember the swarming motility that's seen on, in the lab for Proteus Mirabilis. You ever see that swarming motility? It's quite characteristic of Proteus Mirabilis. There was nothing dairy in this scene, so we know it's non-lactose fermenting. It's, we also note that it's oxidase negative. We see no ox in here, so it's oxidase negative, okay? That just helps in uh, diagnosis. All right, I hope you enjoyed the scene. Take care.